when we want to do things, we need to be intentional about actually achieving them. Because if we are not intentional and make a plan and do something, they tend not to happen. It's just the way life goes. Life is busy. And unless we are making a plan to make something happen, it rarely does. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. If you have never been here before, hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk all about getting set up and prepped for a new month. This specific time is prepping for the month of September and I'm so excited that you're here. So if you are looking to hear about some tips and tricks that I utilize as far as setting up my month, setting goals, creating a monthly vision board, which is something actually new that I have started, hang around and let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, we are still with August on our calendar. We need to get that changed over to September. We need to sit down and really think through like what are our goals going to be for this month? Something that I like to do every single month is sit down and think, what goals can I work towards this month that are going to help me get towards my annual goals, towards my big vision goals, like my five-year plan, so on and so forth. So we're gonna work through all of that today. First things first though, let's go ahead and get this calendar switched over to the month of September. That is filthy. We need to clean that. Try this. Oh yeah, look at that. Windex. Windex. Who knew? Okay. September calendar is up and it is ready to go. I like to go ahead and change my dry erase calendar first. I actually don't put anything else on it, but I like it because I find myself constantly referring to it. I like to be able to look through and quickly just reference this calendar and being able to have that is super, super helpful as I am doing the rest of my planning for the month to come. The next thing I start to think about and I start to look at are my personal goals. So I have a vision board. You may not be a vision board person, but you're if, even if you're not a vision board person, you're probably somebody who at least writes your big goals down or hopefully you do. And if you are not somebody who does that, I highly encourage you to start that practice because having an idea of what you're working towards is literally key to actually achieving it. I'm currently reading the book, The 12 Week Year. I, this is my second time reading it and I love this book. It is phenomenal. It's a quick read, under 200 pages. This is the book. The 12 week year, like I said, I will probably read this every year, like for the rest of my life probably. But it also just breaks it down so simply and it makes such sense and you're like, oh my gosh, like I need to start implementing this like yesterday. Next step, what we're going to focus on. I've got this calendar so now I can reference that as I'm going through and I'm writing down things in my calendar that I know are non-negotiables that are going to be happening on certain days of the week, every single week throughout the month. But then also going through and I'm going to take some time and look at my personal vision board that I made for the entire year. And starting this past month, the month of August, I actually did a monthly vision board and it has been I thought at first it was really silly. Like I was like, why do I need a monthly vision board when I have this annual like yearly vision board? Why do I need another one? But something I have learned about myself a lot in the last year or so is I am such a visual person. I love to see visuals. I love a good checklist. And so what I have utilized my monthly vision board for is it's, it's as though it's a to-do list, but it has pictures and they are a breakdown of my annual, like my yearly vision board. So I can directly see, and I have it up here and I'll show you in just a second, but I have my vision board at the top, my yearly vision board, and then I have my monthly vision board right below it. So I can directly see like, okay, this goes with this goal, this goes with this goal. And then some of the goals that are on my vision board, I didn't work on in the month of August and that's okay. But for the most part, there's a little piece of something in each area of my life that I want to work on. Okay, so I have my yearly vision board here, and this is what I'm going to use as I am sitting down and thinking about the goals that I am going to set for the month of September. So I had made one of these for the month of August, and honestly, I sat down and did this exact process. I looked at my yearly vision board for the year of 2022 and then I thought through and I was like, okay, how can I make those goals happen? 
what little steps can I take? What little goals can I set and achieve that are going to ultimately help me achieve the goals that I've put on this yearly vision board? A big goal of mine is to include like my daily Bible reading and devotional of some sort. I want to be spending some time with the Lord. And so needing to make that a daily consistent thing in my schedule, I need to start little. So I can't be consistent for an entire year if I don't first start by being consistent for a month or for a week or on a daily basis. So one of the things that I put on here is that I would do a my daily Bible time and within my morning routine and do a devotional with that. So I chose to complete a 21 day devotional. I'm using an app on my phone. It's the Bible app on my phone. And I literally am going through every single day. It maybe takes me five to 10 minutes to read through the devotional and then read through the scripture that goes with it. It's short, it's sweet. And at this point, it's a great way for me to start making that a priority. In the past, I have sat down and I've tried to commit like an entire hour's worth. And what would happen is I would find myself starting to not do anything at all because this thought process of if I can't sit down for an hour, I'm not going to sit down at all. But realistically, that doesn't help me whatsoever. And it actually pushes me further from achieving that goal. So by spending five to 10 minutes a day, I know that that's more realistic so that that's something that I can then build on. So maybe this upcoming month, because this daily devotional, actually, I'm only a couple of weeks into it. I started this halfway through the month of August because I realized as I was looking at this each day, it sits right up here above my computer. So I see it often and the goals that are on it often, I started to realize I haven't actually done anything towards that goal. I need to do something. So I downloaded the Bible app. You can download it on your device, completely free. You can access all kinds of different devotionals. I'm currently doing the made to crave devotional and it is phenomenal. Today was day eight. So I'm not even, I'm just over a week into it. And so that has been huge though, because I have been so consistent with that for eight days in a row. So that's kind of how I go about mine. I hope you can see the trend here of like everything that's on my yearly vision board. Like these are the overall goals of what I would love to achieve when this year comes to a close. But my monthly vision board are little baby steps of what's going to get me there. So if I want to read 10 pages a day of personal development, you know, I know some people set a goal like of how many books they want to read. But for me, it's easier to like be able to be like, yep, I did that or nope, I didn't do that. If I say 10 pages a day, 10 pages a day seems way more doable than three books a month. You know what I mean? Because I know if I'm being consistent, I will probably get through about those three books a month because I don't always stop at the 10 pages. But if I can tell myself, okay, you just have to sit down and read 10 pages today. I'm way more likely to knock that out versus if I'm like, hey, you got to read a book this week. And then I'm like, oh, geez. And then I'll just push it off and push it off and push it off. And then all of a sudden I have a whole book to read in like a day. And it's like, well, that's not going to happen. And I'm less likely to actually achieve that goal. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to take some time looking at my yearly vision board. And we are going to make my vision board for the month of September. And I'm going to take you with me through that process. So let's do it. When it comes to setting these goals, creating these vision boards, all of these things, it's phenomenal. It's great. You can sit down, you can spend so much time making the most beautiful vision board. You can spend so much time writing out your goals and thinking through them. But if you don't actually set a time and a place to take action towards those, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. So for me, for example, not only am I already, do I run my own business? I work from home. I do those things. So I already know what needs to happen for that to run smoothly on a weekly basis. However, now I'm starting to implement some other things, an additional business opportunity that I'm super excited about, but I have to be realistic of when am I actually going to make the time? Understand me really clearly, make the time. I'm not going to be given any extra time just because I all of a sudden have decided I want to start this new thing. I want to try this new thing. I have to find and make the time that I'm willing to give to that new venture. Maybe you wake up a little earlier. Maybe you stay up a little bit later. Maybe that time that you're spending watching TV or scrolling social media now becomes intentional time that you're putting forth towards your health journey, towards me starting my new venture, whatever that might be. But until you are truly thinking through every single piece of it, 
nothing's going to change. So I want to leave you with one major tip. And this is something that has helped me so much over the years and really, really helped me finally see the success that I've been after, but not achieving. Okay. So this is it. And I'm 99% sure I got this from a personal development book, but I'm not sure which one. I believe it maybe came from this book, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. Now that I'm saying it, I'm pretty sure that that is where this came from. She talks about in the book, imagine being the person that does the things that you wanna do. If you are someone who's looking to live a healthier lifestyle or lose some weight, you're likely going to be someone who gets in daily workouts, who is eating vegetables on a daily basis and more than just once a day, but like with multiple meals. You're going to be the person that's active, that has more energy, and you're going to be the person that probably takes some time out of their week every single week to go to the grocery store, to meal prep, to pack their lunches every day, to take the stairs instead of the elevator, to drink more water, to do all of those things. If you could imagine yourself as being that person, it's going to be easier for you to actually follow through with that because you're already visualizing what it is that's going to take for you to achieve that goal. Now you just have to follow through with it and actually do it, right? So for me, I have to start thinking about what is it that I want to do and what is it that the person who actually is going to be successful in that, what does their life look like on a daily basis? So if I can already tell myself I'm going to have days where I'm sitting here and I am frustrated because I don't know how to do whatever it is that I'm trying to do, or there are going to be days where life gets crazy and the schedule, this perfect schedule that I had planned out isn't going to happen. It's not, to, not going to come to fruition because... I got called off to do something else or I'm helping my husband with something or I'm on vacation or whatever that might be. And if I can go ahead and prepare myself already thinking, I know what that's going to be like. I know what I'm like when I'm frustrated. I know what I'm like when I'm, when I'm anxious. I know what I'm like when I feel like I'm not getting anything done. Like I know what it, that looks like. So if I can picture myself taking on this new venture and thinking through, there are going to be days where I'm going to feel like that. And I'm going to, it's going to look like this. I'm going to feel like this. I'm probably going to feel frustrated. I'm going to need to vent to somebody. Like I, if I can already think through those things, I am so much more likely to continue and to see serious success as I take on this venture because I've already talked myself through, yes, this is going to happen, but yes, you're going to get through it. These are the ways that you're going to cope with it. So same thing with the health journey. If someone going back to our example, we've been using, if someone goes ahead and tells himself there are going to be days, I'm going to be so sore and I'm not going to want to move my body. There are going to be days where anything but vegetables sound good, but I'm going to eat them anyway. There are going to be days where I don't want another drink of water, but I'm going to go ahead and drink some more. There are going to be days where I'm going to end up taking a rest day, but that doesn't mean I failed. That just means I took a rest day today and tomorrow I'm not going to take one. So if you can think through these things, if you can think through the hard, it will make it so much more doable to push through whenever those hard days actually do come. It'll probably feel like deja vu even because we'll be like, I feel like I've already experienced this before, but it's really just because you have visualized it ahead of time. And this is something that I did not do for a long time. And I caught myself just getting to those rough patches and being like, oh, I just thought this was going to be so exciting and so fun and I was so motivated and now I'm not motivated and maybe this just isn't meant to be. But really, it's not that. Anything we do in life comes with hard times. Anything. There's not a single thing I've ever done in my life that didn't also have hard time along with the good times. Marriage, friendships, family, jobs, all the different jobs that I've had, like my own health and fitness journey, like everything I've ever done has super high highs, exciting, motivating, all of these things, but it also has some low lows where it's like you question everything. But that's why when you've thought about this and you visualize this before you ever even start or as you're going along the journey, if you can visualize that beforehand, it can make all the difference. And then when you get to that, you're going to be like, yep, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. But guess what? I also know I can get through this and I am pumped. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do this because this matters. And so finally, the final piece that I want to share, this is huge with my mindset too. When you're making a vision board, the things on your vision board should be things that matter to you. 
I know that sounds super obvious, but sometimes I see people make these vision boards and then I'm like, does that actually motivate you? Because what I see you doing and what I see on your vision board, really, they don't match. So these things on, on my vision board are important to me because I know how they affect me long term. I know why these things are important. That's why they're on there. So if you're going to put something on a vision board, make sure it's something that matters and make sure you know the why behind it. What's the point of that? Why do you, why is that something you would ever put on your vision board? If you can't dig deep and truly figure out why do I want this? Why is this motivating to me? Then it's probably not motivating to you and you're not going to work towards it. That why is going to drive you. That why is going to get you to continue showing up and that why is going to be your biggest reason whenever all those excuses start to come up and cloud your mind because they will then you can think back to but i'm doing this because of blank and if you can fill in that blank those excuses are going to quiet down and you are going to be more likely to actually work towards those goals instead of letting those excuses derail you completely i'm speaking from experience here i have done this lived through this time and time and time again and through visualizing what it is that I'm going to do, the hard times, the good times, everything included. And by knowing the deep why, those are my two, two keys when it comes to setting those goals, actually making strides towards achieving them, and then feeling really good at month end or year end whenever you're like, I did that. I actually achieved that. So make sure if you have any questions at all, I would love to know, are you someone that does a monthly vision board? Have you ever even heard of that? Do you do a yearly vision board? Do you do a vision board at all? Are you a checklist person or not a checklist person? And if you got anything from this that you want more clarity on or want more information on or want me to dive deeper on, I would love to hear that. I would love to make more videos to help you with that. Organization, productivity, goal setting are my jam. That is my heart and soul. And I love all of that. I could talk about it all day long. So if that is something that you want to see more of, of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video to let me know that you liked it in case you want to see more like these in the future. Make sure to leave any comments, turn the notification bell on so that every time I upload a new video, you are made aware of that. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate you being here. I'm so excited for this venture here on YouTube and I appreciate any support that you are willing to give. But hitting subscribe, hitting the like button, those are easy, free things that you can do. They really help support my channel and it's something that I just would appreciate more than you could ever know. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have the best day and we'll see you in the next one.